Oh, we're on. So you're staring at me now? No. Nope. He's walking around not saying it. I have a splinter. Look at that. I don't even know how I got it. We're not lighting any wood today. Oh. Hi, my name's Mark Gill. This is Mark's the girl. This is Mark Gill's splinter. What? That's Mark Gill's wasp. There he goes, right behind Trish's head. Yeah, she just heard it. <laughs> There's Mark Gill's dog. There he is. Here she is. <laughs> huh? Nice stuff. This is our grills. <laughs> like, what are we watching here? Guys, come on in here. Uh, hey, listen, so um, if you've been watching our show the last little while, um, that's a neat trick because we haven't done any like the last week. Because <laughs> we've been like busy holy cow you'd think uh you know in, in, in this quarantine that life would like level right out for us but uh hsn well we do some stuff on the home shopping network uh, different products and fun stuff and they decided to do all of their shooting from the guests houses and homes and kitchens and backyards so all this fun uh, this stuff that we you know we're doing for fun on marks on the grill for the last however long here all of a sudden it's turned into well let's get on it for real so it's nice to be back to a, a Marks on the Grill style show that's a little calmer, that doesn't have a clock ticking away and all kinds of stuff going on, we can just kind of mellow out. So uh, the inspiration, oh, by the way, hit that like, hit that follow, let us know what you're doing this Memorial Day weekend, all that kind of stuff. This dish that we're going to do is an inspiration from uh, one of those awful news articles that we just have to keep reading. And this one's... Wow. Hello? Hello? Holy cow! Everybody duck. <laughs> That's why they don't let you fly drones to the air. Uh, what was I saying? Inspiration. Inspiration for my dish. That's right. So I was reading this thing that said a whole lot of Memorial Day dishes this time around are going to be like, uh, you know, bring your own food. Bring your own food. Well, it's really hard to show up with a burger or a hot dog sometimes. So uh, this was just a neat idea based on a dish that we did a little while ago that everybody loved. We're like, how can we just take this with us? So we're going to do, uh, or we're going to try to. If, if, you're not, if, if, if you're kind of new to our show, this is where we try out recipes to see if they're good enough to shoot later for like content for the internet and all of these machines and companies that we work with. So we're going to start. Oh, by the way, we're utilizing the heck out of our Blackstone range top. You're smiling. Is it somebody saying stuff? Oh. Somebody saying stuff. Somebody's saying crazy stuff. No, Somebody we, flashes? What no, happened? I, we also... I forgot the carrots. What? I forgot the carrots. Those carrots. Oh, good. Okay. We're good for carrots. All right. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Uh, the first step of shepherd's pie, big chunk of meat. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put that right on there. And I want to get this nice and crispy. So who are we saying hi to? Uh, Floyd Coker from Louisiana. Hello. Daniel Anderson from North Carolina. Hello. Brian Steubens from Maryland. Hello? <laughs> Craig. Oh, Maryland. Well, where are we? Like, last year at this time, where were we gonna, like getting close to crab cakes in, uh, in Maryland this uh -huh. time last year? Oh. Two years. Uh, what's that? Two years Two ago? Years, yeah. No, it was last year. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Really? What did we do last year? Oh, last year we went to Arizona. That's right. That's right. Okay. So, uh, while our hamburger is hamburgering away, let's go ahead and spice this up a little. And we're going to go with some blackening seasoning, because I like that. And then we're going to hit it with some black pepper. Before everyone wants to hang out there. Okay, i got to tell you this. Uh, we're going to hit it with, like, new black pepper, which means I didn't take the time. So, uh, you know, we mentioned HSN. This is the kind of thing that when it happens on live TV, on HSN, you just start staring at the clock and it's ticking away, and you're sitting here trying to open a lid. They don't like that. I don't like that. So there, we got our black pepper. There we are. And we're just going to kind of leave that for a second because I want the bottom to get nice and crisp. We got this uh, griddle top nice and hot. Uh, so hey, listen, I keep mentioning HSM. Let me show you one of the cool things uh, that we sell on there. And if you don't have uh, a pull chopper of any kind in the kitchen, uh, trust me, get one. This is like the biggest, handiest darn helper ever. So uh, onions in shepherd's pie are my favorite. So we're gonna do a little pre-prep here. One of those, one of those. Uh, I always say that these things, you know how when the, uh, uh, the iPad came out, everybody's like, why well, don't I need an iPad? And then everybody found out that uh, this is like the the, the, the best thing, uh, you know, in between that phone and a computer, and you know, you use it all the time. So uh, I, I kind of liken that to one of these, in that, you know, this is kind of halfway between that knife and a cutting board and that big old food processor that you don't want to get out. Because there are lots of jobs right in between that kind of need that, you know. What are you looking at me for? This is so interesting down here. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this twice now. <laughs> so here, I want to make this nice and mint so it kind of melts into place. So here, I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna pop that in there because we want lots of onions. So here we go. Let's pop those in just like that. Can't you see how handy something like this is? James Kerr. James Kerr. Ola Mark. Ola. 
Hello. Oh, Bra- Brandon West. <laughs> Brandon West from Hold Edmond, I like Oklahoma. That. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, uh, Olaf from Oklahoma. No, oh, Brandon. Go. Okay, now ready? Watch this. In there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look how easy that is. I love it. Much easier than my before. So, can't you see how handy that would be? Uh-huh. I'm going to do that with the onions. Hang tight. There we go. And then I want to do that with the carrots. I don't think I need to do too much with my carrots. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. Always good. You put it on properly. I'm sure I read that in the instructions. There we go. Hey, so uh, what's everybody eating this weekend? You got like uh, steak plans, burger plans, any of that kind of stuff? We Wheat Acres says out. howdy, Mark, That's Trish, and family. There we go. Howdy who, the what? <laughs> Wheat Acres, howdy, Mark, Trish. Howdy, Wheat Acres. There we go. And garlic. Hey, listen, if you get a pole chopper just for garlic, it's worth its weight in gold. Here Franny. We are. Hi, Franny from Morgan Hill, California. Hey, Franny from California. All right, so we got... Now the garlic, I want really fine because we're going to add it to a couple of places. So there's the garlic. Brian Masters loves... Boom. All right. Brian Masters what? Loves your show in Western New York. Thank you, Brian Masters. All right, so here, let's go and see how we're doing with the char on this. Let's get a peek. Let's peek. Ah, we can do better than that. <laughs> so instead, let's get our... Onions going. There we go. Our carrots going. There we go. And our garlic. And I'm trying to try and keep these separated as best I can because I want to use the garlic for something else. So there we go. A little bit for the dogs to munch on. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Let's see the let's see the big screen there. Who we got? Uh, Floyd Cooker. Cocker. Coker. 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 Hello. We already said hi. You'll get gets two of them. Randy Nelson from Georgetown. I love it from Milton, Florida. There, Michael. Who else are we saying hi? Patricia Gill is watching. Hi, Mom. Patricia Gill's always watching. Hi, Mom. Scott Nasland. <laughs> Nasland. I had a dog named Nasland. That was fantastic. I've never seen that Nasland on anything else. Paul Anthony from Arkansas. Uh, Brent Hillard. Howdy from Tennessee. Michael James, my brother from Ottawa. I love it. He's always watching. I dig that. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead. We make it. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We edit that stuff out, by the way, if you're new to the show. <laughs> I gotta leave it in. You gotta leave that in? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. If you're just kind of popping in here, we're in the middle of a shepherd's pie on the flat top. And what makes this one different is if we're going to make these uh, individual style, like a lot of times you might bake these in the oven or give it that extra step. We're just doing these really quick. There we go. Really quick so we can make something to take to a, a cookout, a barbecue, and still kind of stay within that whole social distance thing and uh, as, as few touches as we can get in. Listen, anything we can do, little steps like this to get a, a little bit of normal uh, thrown in every now and then, I'll do it. I'm in. Here we go. Ah, you should smell this here. Mm. See the garlic and the onions and the carrots? Oh, so let's go ahead these guys. <laughs> There we go. Oh, that garlic is nice. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now, if we were serious and we were like throwing together something that's supposed to look good for Sunday dinner, you know, the, the little pull chopper there, rinse it out before you do the garlic to the carrots. I get it. But, you know, oh, and also, you might notice there's no celery here. And like a traditional uh, shepherd's pie would have. You know why? Because it's my shepherd's pie. I hate celery. And that's one of the cool things about doing your stuff at home, instead of <laughs> going out for that treat, and you can have it the way you want it, period. Here we go. So like we said, guys, uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe, uh, throw that notification button on. We've always got something fun back uh, happening back here. We've got, uh, what do we have, I think 16 grills and growing back here, and some exciting news coming up as we transfer the potatoes, or sorry, the uh, onions and the carrots over to the beef in about... And you're really going to want to hit that uh, uh, little uh, button there to clues you in every time we come on. Because in a couple of weeks, we have a whole new month of June planned for you with some really incredible brand new machines, some brand new technology, and some brand new giveaways. So as we say hi to a few more people, start letting that sink in for a little bit. And like I said, hit that like and subscribe. It'll be worth it.
Who are we saying hi to? Gail just got a griddle uh, from Long Island. Oh, nice. Jeff. From Long Island? <laughs> yep. Uh, Jeff from Janesville, yes, Wisconsin. Mark I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to meet you. <laughs> What's that? Angela uh -huh. from South Carolina. Hello, Angela from South Carolina. Let's see. Is that it? More no. Okay, <laughs> Kenneth. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all from South Carolina. Who's that? Kenneth. Cool. Hey, y'all from South Carolina. Hey, Brandon. Oh, Brandon's watching. Yay! Yep. Brandon's <laughs> camping. Marie's going to be jealous about that. <laughs> oh, I almost did it perfectly. Larry. Oh, come on. From, from Illinois. What the hell are you making? What the hell is going on, Larry? Like, who is this guy? He, he hides his mess like I do. That's how he used to fix my radio in the car. Gus. I was Turn it up. <laughs> Gus is in the driveway. Gus is in the driveway. Gus is always waiting in the driveway, man. Oh, that's right. He likes that. Uh, he likes this stuff. He likes Shepherd's Pie. All right, let's get to what we got. I'm going to actually come around to the front. Normally, you work in the front of the machine. Um, you know, we do a lot of live stuff. So I used to working in behind. Should I try that clip again? The last one was really embarrassing. Can I give it a go? Do it. There oh, I go. missed that one it. The show. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let's use our uh, our beef here to clean our grill off. Because if you're going to season a grill, you're just going to do it with oil and fat and grease anyway. So if you've got a large grill here, just let it swim around. Just like that. There we go. If you're unfamiliar with flat tops, uh, lots of brands out there. Uh, we love our Blackstone. We always have uh, lots of really good machines. They last a long time. They hold up in the weather. Uh, they take a beating, which is, I mean, you know, if you're cooking for lots of people like we are, that's important. So let's switch around here so you get a better view. There we are. Dude, how are we looking here? You got to right? do your flip again. Oh, looking good. What's that? I, I missed it. I'm flipping? You missed the flip? I kind of think oh. I, I think so. Two out of three. Okay, here we go. This, this is where Mark burns himself. And start talking to third person. <laughs> 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 I love it. Okay, so we're looking good here. And I'm trying to think what else I need this flat top for. Not a ton. So I do want it to warm, though. Oh, that is really lovely. Look at that. So I'm going to kind of knock these down. Just like that. So now, the next part of Shepherd's Pie is, of course, potatoes. So, uh, we're going to do something kind of fun here. I probably should have hashtag this so these guys can have a look at what we're playing with in the backyard. Uh, we have got a bandage for this one. Uh, listen, yeah, hand, hand immersion blenders, hand blenders, got to have them. They're a must. They, they really need, they need to have them in the kitchen. There's all kinds of brands out there. A lot of them are really good. None of them are better. All right? I don't work for these guys. They don't give me a dime. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I've owned this for like 20 years. Uh, we're going to do our mashed potatoes and noodles. So let's go and check. Oh, we're good. By the way, the umbrella is about to fall over. We've got it anchored. We don't usually come on at this time. It's just, the sun's moving a lot now and it's hot. I don't know if you noticed. I'm soaked. Before the show's now in the summer, I just jump in the pool, man. I can't even deal with it anymore. So let's check out our potatoes. Oh, those are ready. I can already tell. So. Let's go ahead and pop that off there. Oh, I'm gonna, I was gonna cross the camera. Don't ever cross the camera. Or don't ever make the camera lady cross. It's one <laughs> of those two. I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> Maybe it's both. All right, is that, that's, that's a trip that's to the Hang tight. I need one, one towel. Ah, ah, ah. Nope, I got it. Two, two towels. Ah, ah, ah. All right, so. <laughs> Into the strainer you go. Out of the strainer you go. And if you notice, it's a variety of potatoes. If this was a ow, it's still hot. <laughs> if this was a fancy restaurant, I would like list off all of the fun potatoes in here and, and make it sound like such a uh, uh, mystical dish. Uh, truth is, we do a lot of shows around here for uh, live TV and HSN and stuff. We had like four or five different kinds of potatoes left, and there they are. So uh, now, we're gonna spice this up a little. What can I put in here to make it, oh, wait a second. Can I point out the brand Better. new whiskey barrel that my beautiful camera lady and wife found for our set? There's two of them. We found a good spot for this. It's made it to the last couple of HSN shows. I love this thing. How cool is that? Also, it holds my beverage. <laughs> may or may not have been made one of those. <laughs> now I need my parsley. So here we go. We're gonna take a little bit of butter. <laughs> no whispering. Talk loud. There we are. So a little bit of cayenne. I got my butter. A little bit of cayenne. And then 
butter. There it is, like that. What else do I want to put in here? I want to put in some Parmesan cheese. There we go. What am I saving it for? Cheese <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez> Louise. <laughs> Got a little bit of parsley, just like that. And what else do I want to put in there? Nothing. Oh, that's right. The garlic that we just like minced up super fine. And then the rest of that garlic, I'm going to go ahead and sleeve over here just to stay brown and mix that in with the beef when it's done. But now, that it. I know I'm missing milk. Yeah, no, I have that. We want to start this first, let the butter get in first. Because you can always add stuff. You can make it creamier. Hard to make it chunkier. Been there. So here we go. Let's get it. Ow! Jeez Louise, man. <laughs> I remember, uh, so I'm like, I'm the, the gadget guy because it's what I do. And, you know, all we do is just get new products to test and play with and stuff. And some of them are a hit at home. Some of them aren't. Some of them are just another way to make chicken. But uh, uh, this guy, this Bamix, I know I had this uh, for a long time, and, and uh, people were like, I don't know that if it's like intimidating to use it if you've never used it, but I gotta tell you, the people that I've turned on to making mashed potatoes with this, love it. There's no elbow grease, you can get the exact consistency you want, fantastic. And you'll notice, I didn't peel my potatoes. I don't like peeling my potatoes for mashed potatoes. I like them rustic. Throw down in the comment section there how you like yours. This is always how I like mine. Think it's rustic or lazy? What is it called? I can't remember. Rustic or lazy potatoes? Lazy potatoes. I don't want to mash them lazy potatoes. Or rustic. There we go. So let's add a little bit. Like I said, you can always add. Ow! I gotta stop that. <laughs> Look at this. On and stirring. Who are we saying hi to? Donald Long Knife. Everything looks. Who's that? Donald Long Knife. Donald Long Life? Long Knife. Long Knife. Cool. Everything looks he tasty. From? He doesn't say. What's that? He doesn't say. He doesn't say where he is. He's incognito. Your mom, man. your mom's eating lobster. Oh, I gotta tell you that. Well, my mom is in Prince Edward Island, where there's more lobster now than people to eat them. So what's normally what is lobster? Twenty bucks a pound, twenty-five bucks a pound, thirty bucks a pound. They picked it up today for what is it? I thought it was. I think she said three dollars a pound for lobster. I'm like, can you ship it? <laughs> man, that's nuts. All right, how are we doing here? All right, Trish, I'm gonna go out. Done. I'm, I'm gonna refer to you. How are we doing? Is this? I think it's like I have more to milk. Put what do you think? My finger in it. Huh? Let's put your finger in it? <laughs> oh, your family. Put your finger in it. Oh, I need a large spoon. Who grab me like a large serving spoon? What do you think? It's hot. Yes, it's hot. I've burnt myself five times on this. It's hot. <laughs> what? You want to dip it in pepper? No. You want to dip it in iced corn? What's happening? Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dipping it in something. No, it looks, it's good. <laughs> perfect? Oh, she's like, perfect. All right, so have a look here. We nailed it. Garlic, potato chunks, the skin, the whole nine yards. So I'm going to go, uh, yeah, that'll work. A little salt. All right, so where are we at here? We, now we need the meat. We need the meat off. Let's go get the meat. All right, you're fine there. Now you. So this has been on warm, just kind of, oh, look, here come the brown bits. There's the brown bits that we wait for. You don't want to go too crazy with it because it'll dry it out. All right, but that is perfect. So there's one more step here, you guys, because it's got to kind of hold together, and, and this is where baking it. Uh, if you wanted to take that extra step, thickens it up a little bit for our purposes now, though. You know, we're just, it's the fast version. It's the quick one. So you're going to take cream of anything. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cream of anything. Cream soup? of anything. <laughs> Whether it's toe cream jams. of chicken, cream of mushroom, toe jams. cream of celery, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> this is your binder. And again, easy to add more, tough to take away. There we are. So this is what it would like, uh, you know, simmer in and thicken up, and that's cool. But I'm getting instructions. Move all this. It you looks know, horrible that, in the no, job, doesn't it? Put that all in. Get, get that out of the way. Don't put it on my... <laughs> Oh, it's good. I need that. Put, put Don't that put it all. there. No, no. Put, put all the... Well, put the it all in. in. Oh! But I was just making the point that it's easier to put more in. <laughs> She's making this. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and mix this up. Oh, that's nice. Right. Oh, this is perfect. All right, so we are going to get the last little bit out of there. Here we go. Oh. We have we have a spoon and a holder. 
we, we use about, uh, I would say, a half of a large family size can in this, so oh, about 10 ounces, I would say. Here, grab that. There we go. And let's finish mixing that up. And then we're going to try and build these guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is one you can make ahead as many as you want. Um, we're going to use little loaf pans. Uh, this is this is kind of neat. You could use, uh, you can make, almost make like uh, uh, shepherd pie cupcakes. I don't know why you don't do that. <laughs> Two bite brownie cupcakes. I'm just trying to fill the time here. I got to mix this. We're going to talk about something. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot something. Listen, my camera lady is on it, man. She really is. Don't forget. This is your last step, by the way. Uh, the, the, the corn and the peas, because you don't want to get mushed up. Um, you know, start from frozen if you can, because it'll mix better for you. But if you're outside with a cooking show and you're not going to get to it for 25 minutes, you do what you can. All right, there we go. Nice. Oh, this turned out good. I like when we try new recipes on the show and they're not a disaster. <laughs> not easy. By the way, look, look at this dog. Look at how perfect that dog looks today. We just had like a million dollar uh, mobile groomer come to the house because she was like Fozzie Bear. <laughs> it was ridiculous. She had a haircut and lost 17 pounds. <laughs> That's the only one in the house that gets a haircut. <laughs> Who else are you saying hi to? Donovan Smith loves loves the chopper. Hey, hey. He's from Vancouver. Nice. Kyle from Indiana. Hello, Kyle from Indiana. All right, so we will take care of the rest of this in a bit. There we go. Would you mind clicking that off? Sweet gear. Perfect. All right. So here we go. We're looking good here. We've got side. We got our potatoes on the other. Okay. Now we need our landings. So here we go. Like you said, we're using these little loaf guys. This will be perfect. Ta -da. And now, time for a word from our sponsor, the Whiskey Barrel. Hmm. All right, here we go. Spoon. So we're going to start with the meat. Let's say some hi, hi to some people as we're doing this, baby. Kevin Smith from New Hampshire. Hello, Kevin Smith. Larry from Illinois. Uh-huh. Naomi from Houston. Fun. Why are Mindy Houston? Uh-oh, something's funny. Um, Rick from Western Ohio. Hey, Rick. Mark. What? Loves the Blackstone. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it was a Mark explanation point? It was, no, his name is know? Mark. His name is Mark. Oh, did he spell it right? With a C or a K? K. Come on. Oh, he got close. Wade Acres does not <laughs> like celery. See, that's right. That's why you make it yourself at home. Listen, if this uh, uh, quarantine, coronavirus, whatever 19 thing that's messing with all of us is, is doing one good thing for us, it's, it's bringing us together around the table. It's uh, it's letting us dive into some food dishes we maybe wouldn't normally try. Uh, for us, it's really opened some doors with some new products that we get to bring into the house and just uh, having a lot of fun. So uh, listen, if there's a silver cloud in, uh, or a silver lining in the cloud, uh, it's usually covered in bacon or doused in sugar or something. You'll find it. <laughs> Jay, what else going on? Jay says, hey, sir and ma'am, y'all need to bring me some to Jacksonville. We like Jacksonville. Y'all need to bring you some to Jacksonville. I love that. Yeah. Remember, I got both mics on now. I'm like I'm like uh, head mic guy, so you got to talk loud. <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk loud. You have to talk loud. Yell it out, man. Scott. Scott. From Missouri. Looking great. Love it. Uh, wait, wait, Scott, Scott, who from Missouri did it say? Um, it says Scott Reich. Uh, oh. Scooter. Is that Scooter? Scooter! I love Scooter. I miss Scooter so much. Scooter is a cameraman at one of my favorite places in the whole world. Oh, no, I better do shoot better. shows, <laughs> and man, I miss seeing his face. He's a good guy. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a dollop. And we're just kind of going to do this as evenly as we can. There we go. This is turning out so much better than I ever could have hoped. <laughs> I saw lots of disasters here. What's happening? Maria from Clearwater oh, wants to know. Maria from Clearwater wants to know. Are we giving them away? Are we giving them away? Should we give them away? No. No? Okay. <laughs> she's Louise. <laughs> she's, a, she's a young, kind, caring girl. <laughs> no. Hungry. My food. <laughs> yeah, hungry. Hungry, young, caring girl. Almost there. There we go. All right, young, caring girl. Make sure you shoo these flies away from us. Nobody needs to see flies on my shepherd's pie. There we go. Worst country song in history, by the way. Uh, the thing, 
You don't always have to fill time with your own voice, Mark. You can just sit there and be quiet. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Now what I want to do, let's spread these out. Oh, yeah. This is fun. <laughs> Kevin Finn from Enterprise, Florida. Hey, hey. Lots of Floridians. Keep saying hello. Jeff Paulson. Jennifer Thrasher Pettit. Jennifer Thrasher Pettit? <laughs> Who is that? We know her. Where's she at? She's, she's in Arizona, right? She's got a spongy forehead. She's a, she has a spongy forehead? <laughs> oh my God, what a wicked way to talk about your friends. Jennifer, I'm sorry about your spongy forehead. <laughs> no, she's, I've known her for... for, for oh my oh. gosh, I've known her for 45 years. Oh great, now my wife's gonna burst into tears on the camera. You know, we need you for like five more minutes, baby. Oh, we haven't Timothy, even gotten the good part yet. I haven't lit anything on fire yet. Timothy Decker from Texas. He's never had shepherd's pie. Excellent. You know, uh, this is close to it. <laughs> this, this is our take Lame. on it. So Just do lamb. yourself a favor. Don't invite over a, a bunch of English folk and put this recipe together and sit there like this when they're done. What do you think? <laughs> they're not going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> you, however, you'll like it. Uh, this is fantastic. Here we go. And let's put one more little dollop on the last one. And then we'll finish this off with just a couple more howdies. Richard Norman wants to know how you like your rec tech. Oh, hey, listen, uh, Richard Norman, I'm going to answer your question. I like my rec tech hole because it's 700 square inches of smoking power, so I can do a whole bunch for everybody. I like my rec tech 340 because that's fantastic for smaller stuff. I love my, and we're going to have uh, Trish back this one up, rec tech wild side. Wild side. Oh, <laughs> rec tech wild side. <laughs> Were you with me? Wait, what? You have to say what? one for the edit. The Rectech Wild Side. Wild, wild Side! Thank you. Well, that thing's just a monster. That's the best thing ever. So, yeah, let's answer your question. I love my Rectechs. So, here we go. Uh, we got the beef perfect. We got the potatoes na nailed according to my lovely wife. So, now all that's missing. And again, like I said, this is if you don't just want to take a burger <laughs> or a hot dog or something just like everybody else is taking to this cookout, if you're trying to stay, uh, you know, within the social distancing, distancing, whatever it is then this is a really cool option to do. Have some fun with it. Oh my goodness, I forgot the cheese. Look at this. I was right in the middle of my big summation. <laughs> my goodness, thank God for these ladies. There we go, all right. Here, let's get a close up of this one. Here's one, here's one for the, uh, one for the final edit. Ooh, we edit out the big mess that I just made. There we go. And just for fun, look at how happy this dog is. That's right, I am so messy. All right, there we go. Now we're back at it. Oh, I'll do this one again. There we are. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Making her nervous. <laughs> All right, this just gives it a little bit of char, a little bit of crisp, melt that cheese a little bit. Now, uh, you can take these, heat them up uh, any way you want. I gotta tell you, this is gonna be a keeper. Yeah, we're gonna throw this recipe out there. So listen, hit that like, hit that follow, guys. I hope everybody has a happy, safe, Awesome Memorial Day. I hope you're getting together with some friends and family as much as you can. Uh, listen, you got time, right? Pull out some of those gadgets you haven't used in a while. Pull out some of those ideas that you haven't really gotten a hold of. But what? What is she doing? What? No, it doesn't know. Look at her. See, I, I've got I've got a old girl behind me doing this. I'm not gonna light the place on fire. I swear. Here, get over here. You can try this. Okay, here we go. Melty cheese. Perfect potatoes. Sorry, you're toughy. There we go. Blow on it. Lord, Lord, blow it all over everything. Yeah. That's a, and all over the food too. Here we go. <laughs> mm, uh -huh. so good. All right, and uh, that's okay. We can share. Here we go. One more. I'm gonna try this. Whoa! Nailed it. <laughs> all right, <laughs> try that. My name's Mark Dill. This is Mark the Grill. Hit that like, subscribe, follow, and starting in the month of June with our brand new equipment that we're bringing in here to show you, this brand new technology that we found. We're also gonna be uh, shooting live simultaneously to both Facebook and YouTube for the first time ever, so that's gonna be really exciting for us. Guys, have a super night, have a safe night, have one of those wonderful holiday seasons, and uh, take care of each other. See you next time.